Hey, big lower body power day today, gentlemen. So movement prep, we're going one round. Hey, we're gonna get in equal lines. We're gonna roll through this three times today. 15 seconds each leg. So the first one is gonna be right here. We're gonna start down. We're gonna go up, over. So this one's obviously higher. So it's different. Get it? Who's moving like that? All right, go ahead. We'll start. Set, go. Three, two, rest. You guys are gonna go other leg now. Set, go. That's it right there. Take a rest. Biggest thing is that transition off to the other side. Don't rush that, all right? So if you need to, take your time coming down off of it. Just get out and over. Set, go. Go. Done. Yeah, same thing, just farther. What's PAP stand for? Post-activation potentiation. It's all a trick into teaching you to produce more power. PAP. Check it out, we got both these belt squats set up with handles. What we're gonna do is go cross body with our foot planted on that angle. So you're gonna pull the whole way across. You can pull a little bit further and open yourself up that way. There it is. See how he's opening himself up now? This side is like dead. What we're doing is letting this weight pull us down into an ISO hold. So all your weight should be on this back leg here. You're gonna stand ni nice and tall there, and you're gonna breathe. Four deep breaths. Then you're gonna go ahead and hit the other leg. All right? Then we're grabbing a partner. We can go outside for this if we need to, and grabbing a band. I'm gonna loop the band around him, and we're gonna go four ascending ski jumps as far as we can. So you remember the ascending ski jumps? So ascending ski jumps is right here. So you're gonna go out and pop back. Out, pop back. See how I'm slow out of it though? Like I'm out and then I'm here. We're loading slow like we would in a swing, like we would in a throw. Loading that coil slow and then getting out, but then rebounding. So out, come back. Decent, good. Then we're gonna come in here. Now we want a quick stretch shortening cycle. So we wanna kiss the ground and get out as far as we can. So short amortization, they call this. Floor is lava, kiss it and get out. So you're here and out. We're all gonna start on a belt squat lateral hold for four deep breaths. Then we got 10 yards down, make it four each side. Then one box drop. Lateral drive, get out there. Now Go ahead and hit it. Listen though, don't be a hero. We want to move this relatively quick today. So we're going to go these banded trap bar deadlifts. We're going to go two here and then one set up here. This one's a little wonky, but it'll still work. The handle's so low, so that's why I elevated a little bit. 
Then we're gonna go active cobra pose. You're just gonna press up, leave your hips on the ground. And then here you're just breathing, just breathing. And then pop back down and come up. So hold it and then work back into extension. So let's go ahead, let's rip it today. All right, gentlemen, check it out, check it out, check it out. We have the landmine set up here. This is a landmine curtsy lunge. So you're gonna bring it up. You're gonna lean into the weight, holding it like a zercher squat. Outside leg coming down through and exploding up. You can load this pretty heavy. Get two plates on that. Hey, that's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in. Listen, if you wanna utilize the same methods, the same training programs that I'm using with these elite athletes in here, make sure you check out the link in the description below. I have a number of programs available for you, specific to throwing velocity, cutting down the 60, and increasing your exit velocity. And always remember that I pump out two of these videos per week, so do me a favor and subscribe for me. I appreciate you. We'll catch you next week. Game Rewards the Grind. It knows how much you invested.